Okay, now we're watching the J16D. It's a very new type of electronic fighters and it's one of the most destructive fighters in this area. It has a strong capability and a comprehensive one, including detection, defense, and attack. And also, it can break down the communication system of the enemy. Let's take a look. We can see the two power station parts on the wings tip and there are four more under the wings and these are actually the high power electromagnetic interference resources which can you know break down the communication system of the enemy as we can see there are two missiles are set under the belly of this aircraft and they're specially designed to destroy the local radar positions and by destroying them it's like blending the enemy's eyes we can see that the nose is relatively long. It requires two pilots to drive this plane. The one is to fly the plane and the other one is to operate the pass because the operation is very complex. The appearance of the J-16D is also a major improvement on China's air defense and plays an important role in electronic warfare. Before, electronic warfare was a large aircraft platform with a long range but relatively slow speed. At present, the operations are very systematic and the air, earth and the sea are integrated. All on the data link, which is also the development trend of various countries, so destroying data is fatal. If you can only catch one display at Airshow China 2021, the J20 is not something to be missed. And the biggest star at this show is wow the audiences with its spectacular performances. And let's take a look. The thunder made by J20's engine is just like a dragon's roar. The sky was torn and when the two J20s flew above us, let me put it in this way, I got all these goosebumps. And the reason and the roar is made by none other than an engine made in China. And for the first time ever, the J20 has a Chinese heart. And this change has made a new breakthrough in the comprehensive performance of the model and even increased its combat effectiveness if China's J20 will be at the same level as the F-22 of the United States. Let's check it out. has a length of 21.2 meters and a height of 4.69 meters and a wingspan of 13 meters and as the fighters its invisibility is the key unlike the cylindrical fuselage of ordinary aircraft the J-20 has a pointed arch nose and in this way the radar staggering cross-section is much smaller no matter which direction the electromagnetic wave irradiates from around the fuselage. In addition, as you can see that the body fusion of J-20 is very good and its belly is very flat and very smooth so we can increase uh, the difficulty of the radar detection. The greatest significance of the J-20's Chinese heart is that it really changed the situation for domestic advanced fighters. At the fifth generation fighter, the J-20 has used Russian-made AR-31 F-series engines, and this product itself is prepared for the fourth generation fighter. Now J-20 finally gets a Chinese engine to fit its fighting capacity. Next to J-20 is Y-20 and Z-20. As you can see, Y-20 is a transport airplane which can carry out missions including transporting personnel and materials, especially under the complex weather conditions. 
Z20 is a helicopter that adopts the advanced drive of wire flight control technology independently developed by China. And according to public reports, the hover of Z20 is very stable. The three stars from the Big 20 family not only gather in Airshow China, but together they build an air combat system. And in this system, Joe's plays a pretty important role. Let's take a look. Come here. The WZ-8 behind me is one of the most mysterious exhibits in this air show. It's a near-space equipment developed independently by China. I'm quite surprised that they actually send the real machine here in the air show so we can admire the details. Although we can see its looks, but its data is totally confidential. Its flying data has not been reviewed yet. The official describe it as high altitude and high speed, but how high? And there are lots of secrets behind it. Let's take a closer look. First, let's talk about its appearance. Can you see the differences between it and other aircraft? It doesn't have air inlets. Look at other aircraft. They all have the air inlets to hail the air and to mix it with a few and explode it and push the aircraft forward. But this doesn't have air inlets. Many people speculate that it uses a rocket engine instead. This may be the reason why the official called the integration of aerospace technology. However, it also brings some disadvantages, that is short flying time. Secondly, we see that this high altitude is not an ordinary one, but near space. Near space is from the edge of the atmosphere to space, generally bounded by 100,000 meters. Once it reaches its altitude, almost all existing air defense missiles can't reach it. And moreover, my personal guess is that this is difficult to use a ground command and military satellites must be used to control it. At such a high altitude, even if the fuel is exhausted, it can glide back to the ground. And let's look at this folded winglet. It's designed to control the return more accurately. And in addition, there are two protrusions on this bag, as you can see, and four external handings. So we guess that it doesn't take off from the ground, but in the sky. Meaning that other planes can take it to an altitude of 10,000 meters, and then decouple it and rise again. This move can greatly save the foil for it. And thirdly, let's talk about a high speed. How fast is it? This is definitely not an ordinary high speed because it wants to fly to near space where the air is thin and the air resistance is very, very small. And we can speculate that it is at least three times the speed of the sound. And this I'm a very personal conservative estimate. And such indicators are a nightmare for air defense. For example, the United States SR-71 is the closest double three level Renaissance aircraft in the world, meaning that it can fly to 30,000 meters high and at three times of the speed. And it has not been shut down since it was put into use. In fact, the current aviation system where the fighter or missile is powerless and bug like for a double three fighters, basically WZ-8 has few rivals. So it is kind of perfect to penetrate the enemy's strict deployment just like that. At present, the main task of WZ-8 is to obtain high-resolution target images and strike effect evaluation intelligence for combat forces at all levels. But it can only observe, not fight. I personally looking forward to seeing the development of more near-space devices based on it in the future. Official also introduced that it has laid the foundation for China's near-space equipment, indicating that it is only the beginning. If you like my video today, please give me a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you miss out the coolest information around China. Okay, so this is Miss Wow signing up. See you next time. Bye!